grilling great beef for a party shouldn't be stressful, we'll combine a whole tri-tip, some smoky hot chipotle peppers, some sweet and tart blackberry preserves to create one of the best meals to ever come off your grill. We're talking blackberry chipotle tri-tip. Let's get it started. We'll start by making an easy glaze to put on one of our favorite cuts. Here are some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Pull one out of the sauce and chop it super fine. This will bring a great smoky heat to the glaze. Into a bowl and add about a tablespoon of the sauce to go along with it. Chipotles are spicy on their own, but with blackberry preserves, we're gonna load the glaze with sweetness to balance that heat. About a third cup into the bowl. And finally, some balsamic vinegar. A couple tablespoons will do. That's it, three ingredients hit with a whisk and we have a perfectly balanced, smoky, spicy, tart, sweet, and acidic glaze ready to go. Now to our certified Angus beef brand tri-tip. Check this out. The tri-tip is from the bottom sirloin and gets its name from the three distinct points here. It also has a noticeable grain direction that flares from one of those points. Make sure to seek the certified Angus beef brand logo. If it's not certified, it's not the best. That marbling is your secret weapon to beef grilling success. We'll hit this with some of our own signature sea salt and pepper blend from our brand store. Season generously here. This is about a two and a half pound roast, so we want that salt and pepper to be there for us in every delicious bite. Get it on each side and on the edges. If you have the time, season the night before and put the tri-tip back in the fridge for better seasoning flavor. It's grilling time. Tri-tip over fire is the way to go. I've got a chimney full of natural lump charcoal here that I'll bank on one side of this Weber kettle grill. The goal is to build a hot or direct heat zone and the other side will act as our cooler indirect heat zone. We'll start by cooking this beauty directly over the hot coals. You really want to get a good sear on the outside quickly without cooking all the way through. Don't be afraid of some char. Flip and rotate to sear evenly. This should only take three to five minutes over those hot coals. Then we're moving to the cooler side of the grill to finish cooking. You'll love grilling with two heat zones. You can get something else cooking over the flames to take advantage of the real estate. When fresh corn is in season, it's our family go-to. With the lid closed on the Weber, we've got a perfect controlled <laughs> oven-like environment to cook things through. Let's get that glaze into the action. I'm gonna pull some of that glaze aside to have as a dipping or finishing sauce here for later, but most of it will brush directly on the tri-tip while it's roasting in the cooler indirect side of the grill. Brush on one side, flip and brush on the other side. This roast is still super rare inside. We wanna build and set the glaze while it continues to cook. If we were over direct heat right now, we would burn the glaze and make it bitter. After a few minutes, glaze again until the internal temperature hits 130 to 135 degrees. We found tri-tip is one of those cuts that is just better at medium than medium rare. So I pull five to 10 degrees below the target, then let the roast rest at minimum five minutes before slicing. While this is resting, hit that subscribe button. Okay, don't miss this. Slicing a tri-tip the right way will ensure you're eating the most tender bite you can. Find that grain direction and cut the roast in half with the grain. It will give you a chance to see the grain direction and then slice against that. See how distinct this grain is? Cut perpendicular to that and you'll have perfect slices. Tri-tip is such a crowd pleaser because some of those thinner areas will become more cooked. Perfect for that person in your family who likes beef without much pink, meaning medium well or more. You know who I'm talking about. We love tri-tip served family style, either right off the carving board or onto a platter with that corn. With some of that extra glaze, it's ready for your feast. Grilled tri-tip with blackberry chipotle glaze, now that's owning the grill.